Welcome back to Primitive Organic Garden. I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible. Uh, I filmed a pretty lengthy video yesterday. Yesterday it was storming and I actually just filmed a video about making grits and the video ended up being 23 minutes long and I tried to upload it to YouTube three or four times from my phone and it just kept saying upload aborted. Uh, maybe because the video is too long which has got me paranoid so now I'm going to try to make videos as quick as possible so that they're very uh, short maybe that'll make them easier to upload I just stepped off my back porch uh, this is a little container garden I got it's got chives arugula and oregano in it this is nice because if it's storming which it often does here in the summer we get rain pretty much every day in the summer um, if it's raining real hard and I'm cooking dinner I can just open the back door and grab some chives or some arugula or some oregano really quickly and easily without having to get wet uh, we're gonna make a real quick garden tour this is my grapefruit mint patch it's doing uh, pretty good it's about to start flowering always flowers in late summer the flowers are purple I see a lot of assassin bugs on the mint especially the grapefruit mint here we got some tomatillos that are producing pretty well. Tomatillos, very heat and drought tolerant. I had to move these blueberries into the shade here because they were not doing well. I got some peppers I overwintered over here. Also some collards. This is a tangerine tree I started from seed. Uh, I have all my peppers for the summer over here together. These are shishito peppers from seed that I saved from last year's crop. I got some purple bell peppers here. Um, also have some chocolate bell peppers. I have some regular green bell peppers. I got a lot of these in huge fabric pots. Peppers don't like wet feet. Uh, peppers want to be nice and dry, so they do pretty well in black fabric pots. Although you do have to water them sometimes almost every day in the summer. Um, anyway, I got lots of peppers, banana peppers, bell peppers, shishito peppers. All kinds of different peppers. Big basil plant going to flower here. And my uh, dwarf tamarillo trees. Another citrus tree. Another dwarf tamarillo tree. Got a collard patch over here. Collards are handling the heat. Got some kale mixed in here. Got some ground cherries. A uh, ground cherry is hands down my favorite thing to grow. If I ever win the lottery and get acreage, I'm going to be a ground cherry farmer. Uh, this is my hoogle culture plot here. It's got tons of parsnips in it. It's also got a collard that got all eaten up by caterpillars this summer, but it'll bounce back in the winter after the frost. There's a big old sun choke right there. Y'all can see the Malabar spinach climbing that pole. There's more Malabar spinach climbing this pole. Malabar spinach is not even remotely related to spinach, but it's a great heat and drought summer substitute for spinach functions very much like spinach in a kitchen. Uh, chefs love Malabar spinach in the summer if they're looking for local crops. Um, you can't really tell a difference in terms of taste. It also kind of looks like spinach, but uh, it tolerates lots of heat and dry conditions. Um, I've got some pineapple tomatillos over here. I've got some in a big clay pot. That's a huge clay pot, by the way. Um, also got a uh, pineapple tomatillos in this raised bed and some lime basil. Got some tomatoes over here next to the roselle. Roselle is a southern uh, cranberry substitute. It's a hibiscus relative similar to okra and cotton, but it produces a burgundy pod that you can boil in water and make a cranberry juice type drink. Uh, lots of tomatillos over here. This is a, a very productive garden area full of tomatillo plants. This is one of my Japanese plum loquat trees. Got some asparagus beans coming on here. That's very uh, similar to cowpeas. It's in the uh, Vigna uh, species complex, like your southern peas, crowder peas, asparagus peas, uh, black eyed peas. Got some Carolina Crowders or Black Eyed Peas, Cow Peas, Southern Peas over here. Got some leeks doing well. Got some sunchokes in a huge pot. Got a big old collard kale hybrid in that big pot there. Got some arugula back there. I've counted 20 bottle gourds to, so far. I've had three that were stolen, but uh, other than the three that were stolen, 
I should have 20 more bottle gourds. I'm gonna make some purple martin birdhouses out of those later this season. Got all kinds of kale and greens and okra and a big corn patch back here. Uh, I'd show you all all 20 of the bottle gourds, but like I was saying, I'm trying to keep these videos super short so I can upload it. It's another sunchoke plant here in the bed with strawberries and oregano. Got another citrus tree, got a chocolate habanero, which I keep separated from all the other pepper plants because I don't want my bell peppers getting pollinated by chocolate habaneros and then all my bell peppers will be spicy the next season. Um, anyway, thank you all for tuning in to Primitive Organic Garden today. Uh, we got some more sun chokes over here. We also got a ton of beans and cucumbers in this little shade patch back here, but we ain't got time for that. Um, I wish I could show you all, all the bottle gourds, but like I said, we got to keep these videos really, really short because I wasn't able to upload my 23 minute video about cooking grits to uh, YouTube yesterday. I mean, these are big gourds. Like, I got, I have big hands, and that is, you know, that is a sizable gourd right there. And I got 20 of these, 20 of these damn gourds. So I'm gonna try to hollow them out in the fall and dry them out and make birdhouses out of them so I can attract purple martins. Uh, anyway, thank y'all for tuning in to Primitive Organic Garden today. Ooh, that's a piece of corn I gotta harvest today. It's a good looking ear of corn. Whew, it's 110 degree heat index out here. Uh, thank y'all for tuning in to Primitive Organic Garden today. And hope your garden season is going really well. Farm dog! <laughs>